Ladies and gentlemen, Six Fig Stock Trader here on YouTube, and today we're going to be talking CKB, folks. Let's just get into this right away. Big inverse head and shoulders pattern on any chart that you're looking at, any time frame. We can see that there is a huge cup and handle, and we can also see that there is a possible, and I say possible, ascending triangle that is forming and this is crazy because we have an opportunity that if this inverse head and shoulders doesn't pan out for whatever reason and we don't go to the moon, we have a security net of an ascending triangle on a grand scale. So there might be a buying opportunity down around the 0.0145-ish level if the bottom falls out. But for now, this is an inverse head and shoulders cup and handle formation. So this is a very bullish sign for CKB. I did buy some more CKB earlier this morning. I'm not saying you should. This isn't financial or trading advice at all. Anything like that. So with that said, let's just go ahead and throw up a little Fibonacci channel and just kind of see where things are at. And so right now we can see that price action is stuck in between uh, this 382 level and the 50% level and the 61.8 level. So we are currently trading within this 50% extension channel and we are really trying to nip at this 61.8 level. So currently we do have a very nice bull flag pull. This is evident and in addition we can see that there is a nice ball flag that is kind of forming. So with that said, I would love to see CKB kind of hop up into the 61.8 channel in Fibonacci sliver by default. So if we could see CKB jump up into this channel as time progresses, we have the upper resistance trend line and price action squeezing within this channel to produce an upside result. So this would be huge if this will happen. Now it might not happen here for the next day or two. We are on a four hour chart here, but the sooner the better in my opinion to hop up into this channel. And I would say that by November 8th, we might have some upward momentum. And November 8th has been coming up for CKB uh, in the past videos that I have done. Uh, we can see that. Let's just see if we can find November 8th again. You can kind of see November 4th to November 8th, somewhere in that time frame. It might be closer to November 4th, uh, but nobody knows that is the beautiful thing. I do think that uh, looking in hindsight, this time sequence warned us of this price explosion here. So this time sequence is definitely warning us of some volatile event that is on the horizon. So with that said, it would be awesome to see CKB really start ripping and get its turn to come back up to this four and a half cent, uh, five cent level. Maybe some price discovery uh, would be awesome. So if that all pans out, let's go ahead and just kind of see where we think CKB might end up, right? So that's where everybody wants to know. That's the biggest question I get asked, uh, bar none, across the board. And trading view is being really slow right now. Uh, so with that said, you can see how I have my alert set up here at right about the 127% the level. This is where a sell-off zone might occur. We might see a reversal. Uh, if CKB comes up to hit the 161.8, we might see a reversal down to the 127 and then keep moving up. The 127 and the 161.8 uh, are going to be significant in CKB's journey to the upside here, uh, if we get that. Uh, so the last time CKB really ran, it ran hard. And we completely ran up to the 476 level. And let me show you guys this really quick because it's interesting that once this thing gets going, it gets going. So bear with me one second while TradingView takes its time and legs. 
So you can kind of see what I'm saying here is the last time we ran up like this, it ran up to the 476. So if we have the same tenacity and, and aggressiveness, I think that a nine cent CKB might be on the table. I do think that it is possible to go higher into some price discovery mode as well. One thing I've liked been liking to point out in these videos is that we have such a similar uh, setup uh, to this previous run up right now. We can kind of see, bear with me one second here, we can kind of see how price action came down, bounced over, corrective wave, and then we had a nice impulse wave or series of impulse waves to the upside. But you can really see very similar structure that is forming right now. And if I go ahead and copy these bars, we'll just go from the bottom to the top. We can note that once I overlay this, to apologize, trading view is basically freezing up on me. And it's not my computer. This is all trading view. I have a supercomputer, so I'm not, you know, I don't deal with slow computers around here. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this again. Thank you, Trading View, for being difficult. Uh, but here we go. So we are just going to go ahead, and if we got the same sort of explosive results, all I'm doing is overlaying price structure. And you can kind of see that if I increased this uh, to match the uh, non-logarithmic uh, scale, we would see uh, how, how much this price action mimics uh, current price action. Uh, that's pretty incredible. I'll go ahead and kind of make this, bear with me one second here, make this dark and then I'll make this light and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Very similar price structure right now. So it could be that CKB is just spring loaded and ready to run. Uh, and I mean, this thing could run up to 25 cents, which would be insane. Uh, based off the last run up that we had, like I said, this is not guaranteed financial advice or anything. In the last run up we have, if we experience that same kind of uh, velocity and buying uh, 25 cents, which really, folks, would only be about maybe a seven billion dollar, you know, eight billion dollar. Um, I know my math's off there, but you know, we're talking like a five to eight billion dollar uh, market cap at 25 cents because you got to figure 28 billion uh, market cap is a dollar. So divide that by four. If we get to 25 cents, there's your market cap. So with that said, folks, I do think that, you know, as long as we play the waiting game with CKB and the market cooperates, I do think that everybody will do quite well. Uh, for now, we are going to call it a day for the CKB chart. I hope you guys all enjoyed this TA. And in addition, thank you to all my Patreons. I truly appreciate all of your support and i do want to just go ahead and shout out um, that i do have some nfts that i have minted on the collect uh, the collect marketplace so if you're interested in these check my twitter out i'll be making an announcement uh, once they are available for purchase so all right guys big shout out to all the patreons get your name youtube channel name business name up on this banner for three bucks a month Catch you guys later.